Welcome to Hacking with Python 14, Editing or Removing Metadata. In this video, we're looking at editing and removing EXIF data from images. I'll be assuming you already have the basic understandings of Python. Every video of all slideshows and code available in the description. So what is metadata? I went over this last video, but I'll repeat it in case you missed it. Metadata is data about other data. In the example we are looking at today, it's information about an image. The metadata in images is called EXIF data for exchangeable image file format. It is a standard for how digital cameras can store image and sound files. EXIF data is stored in tag value pairs. It's important to note that only supported formats is currently JPEG, TIFF and WAV files. In this tutorial, we're going to use the PyExif2 library to remove or edit EXIF metadata. I've been told that this library is now abandoned for the Python 3 supported GXIF2 library. Because I'm more comfortable with the PyExif2 library, I'm going to be choosing it over using the GXIF2 library for this video. They both work almost identically. So why might you edit or remove EXIF data? Well, perhaps you have possibly incriminating information stored in an image's metadata. This might be a time and date a photo was taken by you, or a GPS location that traces you to a place you're not supposed to be. Or perhaps you want to remove all EXIF data so that there is no information that may trace back to you. Or you have a web service that stores images uploaded by customers who may not be aware that there is metadata in their images. Or maybe you want to edit EXIF information to be false or different, possibly even hiding more information inside. Or purely to correct the EXIF data that your camera with the wrong date took. Okay, so how's it going to work? With the PyExif2 library, we can open an image file and read in the EXIF data. Then we can modify any of the values and save it, or we can clear all the tags of the metadata. Then write it back to a file, either updating the modified date, or even preserving the modified date. Alright, let's get on to writing our program. My VMware license has expired, so the video will be on Windows today. The script should work on both Windows and Linux using Python 2.7. First, let's install PyExif2. Alright, so we can go to the PyExif2 website, click download, and there'll be several pa packages, and you want to grab the ones for Windows, grab the required one for your version, so the latest one is 0.3.2, download it, and then follow the installer. Alright, I've already got it installed, so I don't need to do that. If you're on Ubuntu, or on another distribution, you can sudo apt-get install python-exif2. Alright, let's get on to the writing now. Okay, so I'll come over to this empty folder here, and I've got our two images from the previous tutorial. So we've got this one here of Shanghai, that's got metadata in it. We've also got the fireworks one that has some metadata in it. So let's create our files, so we're going to make a new text document and let's call it uh, exifedit.py Yes, we want to change it. Alright, so we've got our file, let's open it with Notepad++ or you can use any other text editor you like. I'll zoom in a bit. Alright, so the first thing we're going to want to do is import argpass. Then we're going to import pyexiv2 and now we're going to define some functions. So let's define a function that will clear all of the metadata. So we'll call it def clear all metadata. Alright, so inside here we're going to take an image name. So that's going to be the image name we're going to uh, remove all the data from and we're going to take a boolean which is going to be preserve so this will be if we want to preserve the modified date alright so inside our function we're going to create our object that will hold our metadata so we'll call it metadata that's going to equal pyexiv2 dot image metadata and then we're going to pass in the image name alright so now that we've got 
our class here, or our object rather. We're going to read in the metadata. So metadata dot read. And then to clear all of the metadata, this is a, acts like a dictionary. So we can do metadata dot clear. And then we can write our metadata back out to files. So metadata dot write. And we're going to preserve. So this will be our Boolean. So we're either going to preserve or we're not going to preserve. All right. That's our clear all metadata function written. Let's create our modify mode. So we're going to define modify mode. And inside here, we're going to take an image name and preserve again. And this time we're going to write a little bit of logic. So first we'll create our metadata object again. So metadata equals pi exif to dot image metadata image name and then we're going to read in our metadata so metadata dot read and then we're going to print out all of the keys and values so that we can see which ones we want to modify so for key comma value in metadata dot uh, iter items all right so that'll go through the list we're going to just easily print them out so print key comma value dot raw underscore value so the raw underscore value is going to be the value in which it's stored inside the file so that way we know how to modify it and put it back in all right so once that's printed out we're going to get the key that we want to modify so we'll call it mod key that's going to equal raw underscore input open brackets and we'll do key to modify and then in some brackets we'll do lowercase q to quit All right, so we can put our close brackets in there and close off our raw input. I'll uh, we'll put a little colon in there too, so it's easy to read. All right, so while our mod key, uh, actually, sorry, while not mod key is equal to uh, lowercase q, we're going to print out editing uh, editing and we'll add on the string of uh, mod key so actually we'll do the value so meta uh, editing metadata open square brackets mod key close square brackets dot raw underscore value close off the brackets and then we want to run a uh, we want to get the value that we want to modify sorry so we want this time we want to do mod value and that's going to equal raw underscore input and we're going to take the new value And then we're also going to do a uh, lowercase q for uh, to quit. All right. So now that we've got the modified value, we're going to do if mod value uh, is equal to lowercase q, then we want to break. If it doesn't, if we don't want to quit, then we're going to set metadata, open brackets mod key, 
uh, and we're going to make its dot raw underscore value equal the string of mod value. All right. So that'll store our new value inside of the value for our key that we want to change. All right. Now we can do our mod key again at the end and get the next key to modify. So raw underscore input and just the same as before, it's our key to modify in brackets, lowercase q to quit. All right. And then once our while, while loop is complete and we're ready to save our data, we can do our meta data dot write and we're going to preserve if that's what we pass in. All right, so that's our modifier mode written. That'll allow us to modify any of the keys. Oh, I've got a spelling mistake up here. In fact, quit. Okay, so that'll let us modify any of our keys and set new values. All right, so let's come back out and let's create our main function. So def main. And we're going to need to create our parser. All right, so our parser object is going to equal argparse dot argument parser. Then our parser, we're going to add underscore argument. And the first argument is going to be the image that we want to modify. So we want to always want to take an image because we need to modify something. And its help is going to equal it's going to be image file to manipulate. Uh, manipulate. Yeah. All right. Then we're going to do our parser dot add underscore argument. And this time we're going to have a clear uh, parameter. And it's going to have a shorter version C dash C and it's help is going to equal uh, to clear all meta data from the file from the file close that string off and then it's going to take, uh, it's going to make the action equals store underscore true. So we do want to clear uh, all of the metadata. All right, so let's add our next uh, parser argument. So parser dot add underscore argument. And this one is going to be uh, dash dash preserve. This is going to be for preserving the data. So that's going to also have a shortcut dash P. And its help is going to equal uh, preserve image modified date. All right, and that's also going to action equals uh, store underscore true. All right. So that's our arguments created. Let me just bump this down a little bit. Uh, the next thing we need to do is pass our args. So we'll create a variable called args. It's going to equal uh, parser dot pass underscore args. And if args IMG, so we have an image, then we're going to uh, continue with our logic, but else, if there's no image, we're going to print the parser.usage. All right, and if args.clear, so if we want to clear all of the metadata, then we're going to run our clear all 
metadata function and we're going to pass in the args.image and args.preserve. All right. But else if there isn't a args clear, then we're going to going to modify mode and then we're going to pass in the args dot image and the args dot preserve. All right, so that should be uh, it for our main function. Now we just need to write our if. So if underscore underscore name underscore underscore is equal to underscore underscore main underscore underscore then we're going to run our main function. All right, so let's save this and just have a quick look, look over. I'll zoom out a little bit. Uh, looks like it makes sense. All right, so let's open back up our folder. You know, hold down shift, right click, open command window here, and we can give it a go. So let's uh, exif edit.py and we want to open up the image data to dot jpeg which is the most interesting one from memory we open it up and we get a list of all of the different tags that are inside of this uh, image we can scroll up and have a look so here we can see we have the exif dot photo dot flash tag and its current value is zero so let's change that value to one to say that yes the flash did go off in this so we're going to want to modify the exif dot uh what was it again is photo wasn't it photo dot flash photo dot flash and it's currently editing it. its value is zero its new value is going to be one and there we go so it's been edited uh, now we can type q to quit and then we can run it again and this time when we scroll up and have a look we can see that the now the value of flash is one. Cool. So that worked. Um, we can also preserve the date. So if we come back and have a look, we can see that data two last modified is today. Uh, however, our data one hasn't been modified. So let's open that up, but let's preserve the date. So let's go exif modify, and we just want data dot jpeg. And we want to dash p reserve. All right, so now when we run it, we can have a look. What do we want to mo modify? We'll modify the flash again, or is there a user comment? There is a user comment. Um, oh, let's just modify the flash. It's easy to remember. So exif dot photo dot flash and set its new value to one. And then we can queue to quit. And if we open back up the folder and have a look, we can see that the modified date is still uh, the same as before. Still over a, uh, over a year ago, or almost a year ago. Okay, cool. All right, we can also clear all metadata by using our dash C command. So we can have our data JPEG and we could type dash C and we could do dash P as well. So we want to, uh, we want to clear everything and preserve the date. So we can run that. Uh, we don't get any output because we're clearing all the data. And now if we run it and we open it up to have a look, I will do dash P. We can see that there's nothing inside of it. Then no list gets printed out. Uh, we can queue to quit. Open up our folder. Whoop. And we can see it hasn't been modified, but the, there's no more metadata left in it. We can see that there's no author, no title, uh, no tags, etc. Cool. This concludes our tutorial on editing and removing metadata. The next topic we'll be looking at is sniffing packets with Scappy. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments and I'll try to answer it as best as possible. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.